Okay, so I want to do something a little different right now. So anybody that knows my love slash hate with photo albums are probably going to wonder why the heck I'm making this. Well, recently at Imaging USA, I got a chance to sit down with the guys over at McKenna Print Labs, and I kind of fell in love with their work. Not only that, but the people there are absolutely amazing. And I wanted to show you how easy it is to order one of their Integrity albums. So these are custom made albums right in the middle of the USA. Uh, very, very well made products. Like I said, I held one at Imaging USA. I actually held a couple of them, different textures, stuff like that, and checked them out. And these things are absolutely incredible. Now I'm not being paid to make this. I am currently in the works to work out a partnership with them. That way I can give you a little bit of a discount code. Now, if I get that discount code at any point, I will leave it in the description down below. But as of right now, I'm just making this because I really have high hopes for it. Everybody over at McKenna are just great people. I'm just really looking forward to this and I think you guys will too. So like I said, I just wanna walk you through, show you how easy it is to create one of these Integrity albums. Now, McKenna themselves offer art blocks, Integrity albums, uh, metal prints, flush mounts, actual prints, uh, all sorts of awesome stuff. Uh, but I just wanna show you the Integrity albums. Maybe I'll, in the future, make some other videos on how easy it is but like I said, it's super simple. So let's go ahead and get over to the computer and let me show you how to do this. You know, I always tell myself, I just have to go out and give it my all, no matter what anybody's trying to do to hold me back. The key is to keep hustling and keep putting out those bangers. And I always have to remember, no matter what, I am Josh Russell. Okay, so now before you can actually create an album, you do need to download Rose software. Now this is pretty industry standard right now. If you're ordering from any professional print lab, they're gonna actually have you use Rose. So what you need to do is you need to go to McKenna's website at McKennaPro.com and you're gonna wanna go up to the upper right-hand corner and click new customer. Now you're gonna walk through the process of setting up an account. You'll get an email with your account number and that's also gonna have your link to download the Rose software. Go ahead and install the Rose software and then once you're done, that's where we're gonna pick up right now. Okay, so now, once you have the Rose software, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna go over to the right-hand side and you're gonna sign in with your account number and your password. You're gonna be brought to this page right here and this is where the magic happens. Super, super easy. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go up here and you're gonna click on order prints. Now, I already have one here ready to go, but what you do is you'd actually click on this drop down here and find integrity albums. You're gonna click that and then this is where you're gonna decide, do you want a photo on the front of it? Do you want material? Do you want a spine wrap cover? I'm gonna go with material just because I love material type albums. I'm a material guy in a material world, uh, yeah. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna decide what type of material we want on our album. Do we want synthetic leather? Do we want distressed and genuine leather? Do we want a designer cover or a linen cover? Let's go with designer. Let's get a little Hollywood in this. Let's find some bouginess and let's see what we can do. Now with me, I almost always do an eight by 10 and a half album. I just feel like that's a good size. It's not too small, it's not too big. We'll go ahead and click on the eight by 10 and a half and we will go ahead and start designing this. Now this is your front cover. This is what your front cover is gonna look like. And we're going to decide what we want on that cover. You know, if we want this concrete, if we want this crocodile rose look, I mean, this this is baller. This is, this is awesome. There is a designer platinum scales. There is a designer modern lace. Uh, I'm a big fan of this designer cowboy, as well as this Giribaldi copper. And I think this is the one we're gonna go with with this one. Like I said, I wanna make this bougie. But here's how easy it is. So you've got this, you're ready to go. Just click the next page. It's gonna open your cover, which you don't do anything with the inside of the cover. We're gonna to go to the next page. Now, let's say you wanna add a full size photo in it. All you have to do, once you've taken your photos, I've already got my photos and I've put them all down in here. It's literally just drag and drop, super easy to do. Uh, but yeah, you just drop them in here and then these are your photos you're gonna be able to scroll through and you're gonna decide what you want. Now let's say we want a full size photo of Kayla and John. That's gonna drop right here, it's ready to go. This page is done. You can kind of move it around if you need to. It's pretty good where it's at. Go to the next page here. Now, from this one, I wanna do two verticals. So what you're gonna do, go up here, and these are all your different spreads. These are your spread sizes. We're gonna grab this one right here, that's gonna be two. We're gonna drop it on there. 
So now we can take, and we can take this photo and put it on this side, and take this photo and put it on this side. Now I don't like where this one is, so let's bring it up. That way it's in the cut lines and in the safety lines. And then we're also gonna bring this one down. So now we have two pages already designed, but let's say you wanna make another page and it's like family informal photos or it's a bunch of portraits. You wanna put them all on there. Let's go find like a cool design here. Let's just go with something like this one. So now what we've done is we got one big one in the center. We've got a bunch of squares on each side, three squares on each side. So let's drop this one in the center. Boom, and then we're gonna drop, let's see, this one. And we'll drop this one, and we'll drop this one. Now with this being said, you're gonna wanna try to keep them like wedding specific. So I put this one here, but I don't like it. So let's just click on it and delete it. So now that'll stay empty there, and we can go ahead and we can drop one in the top here, and then we'll drag it over. So see, what I did is I actually left it so the love would be seen. And then if you wanna drag them over, you wanna get them where you want them. We'll go to the next page. And we're gonna go ahead and drop this bad boy right here, full full frame, full page, let's get it there. Go to the next page. We're gonna drop this one here. We're gonna go with this and this one. Let's go with this one. Boom, there we go. So now what you're doing is you're designing this album, you're getting it all ready to go. And this is the back page now. And if you go one more, you'll see the back of the cover. Now this is a 10 page album. If you wanna add more pages, it's very simple. All you have to do is either decide if you wanna add a page before this one or after this one. So let's add one more after this one. We'll just leave it full size. We don't need to add a template. Then we'll drop that photo in there. We'll get it there. So now if I wanted to add another one, I could add another one and then so on and so forth. But now once you're done, all you have to do, hit add to order. It says this product can hold more images if you want. Are you sure? Um, because I left that one empty. So let's go ahead and add it to the cart. And you can see that this cart is now ready to go. $165 for that album with luster pages and that designer cover on it. So if you wanted to add a microfiber bag or something like that, uh, if you want additional copies in a smaller version, you can do that here as well. Otherwise, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit checkout. It's gonna take you to a checkout page. Make sure you sign in, get all that information, and you're good to go. So like I said, ordering an album with McKenna Pro Super easy, really straightforward. Like I said, they also offer Art Blocks, which is a canvas print with a hard front. They're super cool. I saw those in person as well. They offer regular canvas prints, metal prints, flush mounts, float prints, all sorts of different products. Go ahead and check them out. Tell them Josh Russell sent you. Like I said, if I get a discount code, I'll leave it down in the description down below. So make sure you check that out. And also, if you found this video helpful, maybe consider checking this one out because I think this one will help you too. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.